I'm Heidi Villegas with Healing Harvest Homestead, and I thought I'd hop on here very quickly to talk about storing your herbs. So as many of you know, we have leased a studio slash office down in an antique hotel in our little town for our work, for the business stuff. And now it's time for me to go through the herbs. <laughs> so I have got so many herbs in my herb cupboard here in my house. Uh, and I've got uh, herbal preparations as well, tinctures and salves and, and all the things. So what I'm going to be doing, is deciding basically, which herbs I'm going to take down to the my office area, uh, where I will be working with clients occasionally, and which herbs I wanna leave here. And I'm also going to be determining which herbs are gonna go in the compost pile. So come join me in my herb room <laughs> and we'll go ahead and take a look at what's going on here. So here we go. Here we keep this room very dark all the time. My herb area right here, which is quite not organized right now. So I'm really looking forward to getting it organized in the future down in the the new office space. And here in our home, it's going to become just this little capsule of what Joe and I need in our own home apothecary. Uh, so I'm really excited about this. So what I've got here, besides all the food storage that's over here <laughs> and over here, these are two shelves that are full of dried herbs. Okay, so they're they're floor to ceiling, pretty much different dried herbs. These I have, organized uh, A through Z. So over on this shelf, and I've got, I've got about four rows of tinctures that I've created over the years from the herbs. And you can't see them all because this tripod isn't bending down very easily for me. But I've got these organized based on their body system uses and other uses. I've got my, or, and even like actions, like astringency and, and things like that. That's how I've got these organized. These herbs are probably going to end up down at the, the shop with the exception of ones that I want to keep here for sure, like my hawthorn tincture and things like that. But I'm most likely going to split a lot of these take half down there and leave half here. And that's going to create more room here in, in our storage room area. So one of the things I wanna talk with you about very quickly, and this is going to apply whether you're an herbalist uh, working with clients or teaching like me, or whether you are a home herbalist or a community herbalist, and that is you only wanna work with quality herbs. The, the quality of the herbs you work with are completely going to determine how beneficial your herbal preparations are. So I always get asked this question, hey, is it okay to store my herbs in the bags? Okay, like this Mylar bag. And I'm going to tell you that it's going to depend on a couple of things. It's going to depend on the kind of Mylar bag it is. This is a black bag, which keeps out all the light. I mean, this is from Foster Farms Botanicals. I highly recommend them. I'm not an affiliate, but they are excellent. And if it's unopened, then I say, yes, you can definitely store your herbs in a bag. Now, some of my herbs I have opened already and they are still stored in a bag. This I just bought recently. And this is one of the things I'm meaning to do is get these into glass jars. I also like to make sure I put the date on them. Roots and seeds and berries, the harder um, herbal herbs tend to last longer. But here's another little mistake I wanna show you. So you could actually store your, your roots for three to four years, maybe even five years if it's stored correctly. But I want you to see this, see all this headspace here? This is not good <laughs> because there's air in here and air is bad for your dried herbs. It oxidizes the herbs. So this is not a, a great situation here. And I've been aware of it for a long time. I've just been super busy and haven't been able to get to it. But as an herbalist, this is going to be some plant matter that I'm probably going Going to go ahead and compost because I've had this for quite a while and I've had this headspace in here for quite a while too. So that is probably going to go to the compost area. Herbs that have been in bags for a long time, we're probably going to compost them. Let's take a look at the, the quality of the, the, the herb here too. So this, these are both uh, golden rods that I harvested uh, foraged last summer. 
And so they're relatively fresh. This is an amazing plant and I love uh, making sure that I have enough of this going into allergy season or it's, it's super helpful for urinary tract infections. But this one right here is that's well packed into the jar. It's completely fresh, harvested here. It says August of 2022. It's amazing. And this is definitely gonna stay on my shelf. This one right here was harvested at the same time. I had some leftover, so I just put it into a gallon bag. And this, I'm actually going to get into a tincture immediately because I don't wanna waste the herb. This is perfectly good goldenrod still. I can tell by the quality of it. The, the leaves are still bright, vibrant green. I didn't get a whole lot of fluff when I harvested the flowers. So that's one of the things you wanna think about with your goldenrod. So this is actually one I'm gonna get processed right away. Let's look at another herb here that I've got. So this is red clover. This was also harvested from my yard last summer. Look how beautiful it still is. It's purple. It's just lovely. And I, I love this plant so much. It's really helpful for women. And then I've got some red clover that I purchased from a local herbalist about two years ago. Uh, look at the difference. Okay. This is where when you start working with plants over a period of time and you start looking at your own collection of herbs as an herbalist, you're going to be able to determine very quickly whether you've got quality or not. And I have got so many, I've got hundreds of herbs in here. So I'll be composting uh, quite a lot of them and I'll be processing quite a lot of them and um, splitting quite a lot of them and just going through this herb cupboard storage of ours. I'm hoping to be done within a couple of weeks, maybe the next three weeks or so, because I wanna take my time and experience my plants and make good choices and not waste what I don't need to waste and make sure that I get the right things composted <laughs> and the right things uh, determined whether it's gonna go into an herbal tea blend or maybe just stay just like this or be tinctured or put into an infused oil. So I'm gonna be making all those decisions. Same with my tinctures over there. I'll be making decisions about which are being split, which are being bottled up into smaller bottles, potentially for sale, maybe, which are going to um, be cast away into the compost. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's another thing too. I get questions about, it's cold in here. <laughs> this, are, this is a cold storage room. So one of the things I always get asked about too is the shelf life of your herbal preparations. Since I'm getting ready to go through mine right now, and that includes my infused oils, my tinctures, everything, I just want to talk very quickly about, or just share real quickly about what I'm thinking about when I, I go through those. So for my tinctures, they last indefinitely. I'm likely just to leave them just as they are, or if I want to take some down to the, the office and leave some here, I'll do that. Otherwise, they're just going to stay the, the way they are because they last forever. They, they they'll, they'll be they'll be good long after I'm gone. <laughs> and uh, infused oils. This is something I have to do, and I just I'm dreading going through my infused oils because oils go rancid after a period of time. They can last up to you know a year to maybe three years or so, depending on how they're stored and what kind of carrier oil you're using, and also a little bit the methodology that you use to infuse them. Those I'm hopefully not going to have to throw away a whole bunch of them, but I'm thinking I'm going to lose quite a few quarts. So on the happy side of that, I'm going to be able to use that as an opportunity to infuse more. And I love working with my herbs, so I'm okay with that. Then we've got our glycerites. Glycerites are, I feel in my opinion, everybody's gonna have a different opinion on this, but I feel like glycerites are good between three to six years. Just to, again, depending on storage. Vinegar acetums or vinegar infusions. I've never had one really go bad, if I, as long as I use dried herbs in it. Uh, so they have a very long shelf life. I'll just say, use your nose. If it smells bad or off, get rid of it. If it smells just fine, use it. 
that's basically what I'm going to be doing. Salves and balms, uh, you know, ointments, things like that should be treated like you would an infused oil where you're going to want to smell it and make sure that that oil is not rancid because the salve will start to smell as the oils in it go rancid too. So anyway, I just wanted to hop in here and just talk a little bit about herb storage and the fact that I'm getting ready to go through my herbs. Uh, pretty soon you're going to be, be, be seeing my beautiful organized herb shelves down at the office. Super excited about that. Okay, so I'm Heidi Villegas with Healing Harvest Homestead. If you have any questions about anything um, I, about this process, go ahead and leave them in the comments and be sure to get your free, your free gifts from me. I've got an herbal remedy guide with a cheat sheet and I've also got a, a how to relax using herbs book that is 24 pages long with, with recipes and I would love to have you pick um, either one of those or both of them up. I also have a free uh, five-day herbal foundations course that I've received a lot of great feedback on. It's going to give you a solid foundation, believe it or not, even though it's five days of emails. They're rather long, <laughs> but and but you can save them, print them out or whatever. It started on your herbal journey that way. Uh, my goal, my mission is to have an herbalist in every extended family so that people have more options for alternatives. And I think that is so important as our healthcare system has proven to us that, you know, there's other ways to handle different kinds of things. All right, I could blabber on forever, so I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm Heidi Villegas, uh, herbalist, aromatherapist, homesteader, and I'm with HealingHarvestHomestead.com if you wanna go check out my website. Tons of free information over there for you guys, and uh, also here on YouTube. All right, talk with you soon, bye-bye.